guided meditation to calm anger. When anger has its grip on us, we have to calm down. Our mind simply is not thinking clearly. So grab some water, take a nice long drink, appreciate it, and then find a comfortable seat. You can choose a chair, you can choose a cushion. If you choose a chair, make sure both of your feet are on the ground. Don't cross your legs. Let both of your feet independently come in contact with the ground. If you're on a cushion, easy pose is great if that is comfortable for you. Have your arms resting by your side, your hands in your lap. With your eyes open, enjoy a few deep belly breaths. In through your nose, full deep into your lower belly. Feel it circulate and then slowly release through your mouth. Do that a few more times, just noticing the way that it feels, allowing the breath to calm you. And then when you feel some of that calm start to come over you, you may close your eyes very gently. Bring your attention into your body and notice all of the places where you come in contact with everything that's supporting you. Be grateful for that support. How do your feet feel on the floor? If you're in a chair, how does that feel on your back? What about your hands resting in your lap? Don't move, just notice as you breathe. Now gently guide your attention to your breath and just allow yourself to watch here. Don't do anything, don't change anything. Don't force anything, just notice the breath, notice the sensations of the breath as the air travels in through your nose, through your nasal cavities. How does it feel in the back of your throat? How does it feel as you, for just a moment at the top of your inhale, you hold your breath? How does it feel when it circulates? What about when you send it back out slowly? How does that feel? Has the temperature of the air changed? Can you feel your chest or your belly rising and falling? Just take a few minutes or moments really to be present with that breath and notice all the different ways that it feels and differently in different parts of your body. If you're feeling any anger right now, simply see if you can notice what emotion is attached to it. Don't judge. You're just here sitting still, breathing, noticing. What is that specific emotion connected to the anger? It's not bad. It's not good. It's just there. Watch the emotion as it comes up simply like something else that you you become aware of something that grabs your attention like a bird flying past a window you're just observing the emotion right now you're not diving into it and you are breathing in very slowly and deeply through your nose you're allowing that air to circulate pick up any of that negative emotion and send it back out into the world as you exhale. Inhale peace and calm. Allow that to circulate, cleaning out anything that doesn't serve you. And with gratitude, exhale it back out into the world. This energy, whether you label it negative or positive, good or bad, it's just energy and sending it back out with gratitude not only helps you calm, but it's the intention to give it back to the universe and allow it to be recycled into something that serves you. So as you notice this emotion without judgment, what do you notice about it? Where in your body do you feel it? 
Is it in a particular place? Your head, your stomach, your throat, your chest, tension in your shoulders, your jaw. What about that little space right between your eyes or your temples? If you notice the anger and recognize the emotion and, and see that it's taking a physical sensation, just watch it. What does it do? Does it move? Does it just sit there? And if you notice any tension, see if you can relax it. On your next inhale, breathe in healing goodness, light. Allow it to surround that tension. And as it surrounds it, it hugs it and soothes it like you would an upset child. And as it is soothed, it releases. Then notice any change in your mood here. Don't label it, just notice it. Bring your attention now to your breath. Whenever you find that the mind has wandered or that you get lost in thought or that maybe you start to take part and engage with the anger that you feel while you're thinking, then just gently as you would with a child, just guide your mind back to the place that you know it should be, which is your breath, gratitude, love, peace. Now visualize the emotion you want to be filled with. Visualize that. Breathe that in deeply into your belly. Hold that, let it circulate throughout your body to the very tips of your toes and the top of your head, down your arms to your fingers and hold it until you cannot hold it anymore and then gently, ever so gently, release it. Anger is not good or bad. It just is. And when you feel it, if it feels bad, all you have to do is slow down and recognize it. Allow yourself the time and the space to make sense of it and then process through your breath. Everything in gratitude in and out. Part of dealing with anger and knowing how to respond and react to anger is recognizing the things that you cannot change. Be at peace with the things that you cannot change. Allow them to exist and respect yourself by directing your thoughts elsewhere. Learning how to release anger helps you to grow personal development, emotional intelligence. And just sitting here with yourself is an investment in your growth. Congratulations for investing in your growth. Place your right palm at heart center, your left over right, and push just a little bit. Give yourself a little energetic hug. Breathe in gratitude. Thank yourself for taking this time. Now gently open your eyes. Notice how you feel without, without moving. If you feel angry still, acknowledge it, accept it, watch it, don't judge. If you feel differently, notice that. If the anger is still consuming you, rewind this again and again. 
Then take another few deep breaths and transition back to your day.